तो हेलो 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 एवरीबॉडी हेलो गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू ग्लाड टू सी यू अगेन हेलो गुड इवनिंग कैन यू हेयर मी नो ये यस आई कैन वेंडी यू अपीयर इन टू डिफरेंट You had two different uh, gadgets. Wendy, está haciendo magia, Wendy. Yes, <laughs> parezco pulpo entre tanto, <laughs> entre tanto alambre. <laughs> Now maybe, maybe you you have your computer and at the same time your cell phone. Tenía dos dispositivos. Yes. <laughs> sí, es que me conecto mientras la computadora conecta porque a veces eh, tarda mucho, entonces ah. me conecto mientras en el celular. Okay. I got you, I got you. Comprendo, comprendo. Thank you. Don't mention it, don't mention it. I guess you um, feel happy today because um, we are self class to finish. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hola. I got only eight. Uh, let me see, yes, eight. Tenemos solo ocho. I don't know why. Okay, tell me, how have you been? Hello? I got nine. 
Misael is there. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm very good today. Thank you. Okay, nice. Yes. Hello, yes. sir. Good evening. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, Galileo. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. We are so close to finish. Only just one more day, and we are you are done with this module. Yeah, you have the reason. <laughs> yes. One more day. <laughs> yes. And yeah. you are going to have a, at least one week of vacation. And later on, you are going to start the next module. Yeah. And you are going to have a new experience also. Uh, and I wish, think? You, I wish you the best for in the next module in order that you can learn something new and that you can develop your skill. Uh, you see the time is running and we are here almost uh, just to finish this module. And for that reason, I invite you uh, in order that you don't give up because life is in that way. Thank you, sir. And I'll, we I'll are... <laughs> <laughs> to, all you. You, to all of you, to all of you, I invite you to do it. Thank you, sir. I I'm gonna learn to speak English. I hope to speak very well soon. Occurred, you know now, you know, you know, you already got uh, some knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. We never uh, stop learning, you know. Yeah. Every time that, right. I, that I teach a class, I learn something new. Yeah, I think I need to. I never consider yeah. that, I, that I know everything about language now. I need to practice a lot of it. So I hope uh, listen to music and see some movies in English with subtitles. And I hope to take some practice practice about some tools in internet. Ah, okay. There are a lot of different kind of tools that you can use it, applications that can help you a lot in order to improve listening and speaking, and how to pronounce words, phonetic, uh, different mm -hmm. way. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So I am really glad to to be under your class. And I learned a lot in this class. Um, so I am thanks with you to share. OK. You're welcome to mention it. It's my job. I had to do my best. As I told you before, even though that sometimes, um, even in Spanish, we make mistakes. And for yeah. that reason, I said to my student, uh, sometimes, uh, no matter the, the years that we have uh, doing something, but suddenly we can make mistakes. But we, tr we, we try not to do it, right? Yeah, I, I say when I, I, ever, I ever say, when one North American or or or, or England people are learning English, we hear, hear we hear them and say, "Wow!" And we laugh. <laughs> Como dice, qué bonito habla el gringo. <laughs> yes. But when we are learning and we we speak with uh, various mistakes. The the other people around us say, "Este, uh, <laughs> este no que no puede hablar." <laughs> yeah, but I I never quit. I never quit. I I hope learn to speak and understand English. And the, so, the only way the only language. way that we have is just to practice. 
And you don't, uh, don't care about mistakes. What you need is just to communicate. Of course, that every time that we speak, we need to do it in a better way. And also, uh, all depending on the area that you are going to establish a conversation is going to be very formal or even sometimes could be informal. And you are going to use a different structures in order to communicate. Yeah, and that, that is. Can... Okay, yeah. go ahead, sir. Tell me, tell me, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Yes, what, I, what I'm trying to tell you is that suddenly uh, we are here just yes, studying uh, in a, an academic way, but in a colloquial way, when, when, when I speak with the Americans or with somebody else, uh, sometimes I use a, I try to use another kind of structures uh, because. Uh, it is like informal, but at the same time, is I, I, as I told you, it's a colloquial way when, I, when I'm speaking mm -hmm. that way. And for that yeah. reason, sometimes people say, no, the English that uh, it, it is, uh, that somebody teach here in the South, it, it is not the same like United States. And but yeah. the problem is that we just sometimes learn what the book says, but into practice, it's totally different because, uh, when you start talking with an American, they uh, short sounds and, and they don't mention it. And we need to be careful in order to understand exactly what they are saying. We need to sharp our yeah. ears in order to, to get everything. But here we go. Yeah. Here. But I, I think our goal is uh, approach have a conversation, understand and, and talk in a conversation. Yes. When yes. We, we speak with other people in English, uh, at, begin, at the beginning, we speak uh, slowly. Yes. Uh, we understand medium, but at that uh, level, we can, of uh, remain with that conversation, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, welcome to all of you. We are ready. We are to close. Uh, we are close to finish. And today we are going to start the last topic. Tomorrow we are going to make a review about this unit where you are going to have the opportunity to uh, some question about different aspects that we have started in unit four and to clarify some doubts. Okay, let me check up the attendance now. Let me see, I got 15, no more than 15. No sé, ¿qué pasa? Okay, uh, another question. Uh, I would like to know if uh, if you already got the email with the interaction for the activity that we are going to have tomorrow. ¿Ya recibieron el email con la información sobre eh, yes. la actividad que hacemos el último día? Sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Ah, yes, ok, no han revisado el correo electrónico entonces. Ajá. Now I can see. You got the info, right? Yes, sir. I got okay. it. Ok, ok. Remember that tomorrow uh, you are going to have your time in order to answer all the questions. Se van a tomar su tiempo para que todo nos salga muy, pero muy bien. Y así no haya uh, ningún, ningún problema. Pero ni uno, ni uno. Ok, here we go. Uh, in fact, I was uh, checking the, the platform 
And I saw some of you are missing some activities. I don't know if you already completed. Estuve revisando la plataforma y me encontré que habían algunos que todavía tenían pendiente eh, algunas actividades de la semana tercera. Eh, me gustaría saber si ya las completaron. Y si no lo han hecho, invitarles a que lo hagan. A mí me falta. Eh, hoy las termino. Ah, ok. Ok. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. No está. It's not here. No. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian. No está. Bautista. Ahí está Bautista. Se le oye allá lejos. Escobar is there. Present. Eh, Claudia. Present. Ok, felicitar a todos los que han salido invictos sin, sin un color rojo en su asistencia. Admirable. Francis. Francis. It's not here, Francis. I know sometimes uh, suddenly we can face Rowland and we it is difficult to be at, at, at the right time, but the most important thing is that you connect as soon as you arrive to your house, you can connect and that way you are going to be part of the class, you know. Okay, Galileo is there too. Present. Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan is not here. Eh, Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Ahí está Juan Carlos. Uh, Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Ahí está Laura. Eh, María Concepción. Ahí está María. María es de María Elena. María Elena, I, I can hear you. María Elena. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ahí está Mayra Veralice. Eh, Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Yeah. Eh, Misael is here too. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia Lisset. Present. Here too. Present. Eh, Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Sí. Y Brian Javier. Present. Ok. The rest are is not here. They are not here. Bueno, el resto no se encuentra. No esperaba un sufrido que gustará más que los otros dos que te Thank you. What's going on with my computer? I can show you something and I can. I don't know why. What's going on? Something is happening here.
Okay, let me see what's going on here. Well, I guess if you if you have a, a notebook, uh, that means that uh, if you write down all the new vocabulary that uh, that you found in this uh, module, you are going to have a, a P one because I consider that you got uh, a lot of information. I don't know why I can show you my slices. I don't know what's going on today. My computer is on a strike. Se me ha puesto en huelga mi computadora el día de hoy no me deja compartir. I don't know why I can find a problem where it is. I'm not showing you anything. My goodness. No sé por qué no puedo compartir mi pantalla. Do you have any idea why? Any idea? Hello. Hola, 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 ¿me oyen? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know why I'm trying to share my screen with you and I can do it. I don't know why. I can't find a problem. I don't know what, what's going on here in my computer. No sé qué es lo que está sucediendo, pero no me agarra los archivos. My goodness. Your computer is tired. Really? Será? Será eso que mi computer is yeah. tired? No sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero es Monday y ni en la gallina ponen. <laughs> My goodness. Será eso? Yo creo quizás. <laughs> so I don't know why I can I can I, I can share my screen. I'm closing all the windows that I have open and I can do it. It is the first time that I face something like this. My goodness. Okay, uh, I, what I need is that you see in your material on page number, let me see. Let me see the numbers of page and that you are going to see the material. Okay, number 40 is the page. And there you are going to find out some uh, question in the letter starter. You are going to be in couple to discuss these questions. The first one said, is there an emergency plan at your workplace? You are going to discuss with somebody else. And the second one, have you been informed about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake? Okay, you are going to discuss these two questions. I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can do it. Let me see, okay, it's gonna be this number.
And the time that you are going to have is five minutes. Okay, here we go. I will try to find out the problem that I have. Okay. Try to talk with your partner, please. Misael, Misael, Misael. Misael. Room seven, so room seven, Misael.
Okay, who wants to talk about the first question? Let me know what did you discuss with your partner? Hello. Tell me. Teacher, in my case, I speak uh, with Maria Elena and she say that in his workplace, uh, uh, they have a plan uh, in case of fire on the earthquake. Okay. What about the rest? ¿Qué dicen los demás? Me, teacher. Okay. Um, I was talking with Yesenia and I shared the information that in our institution, basically, we do have um, a kind of earthquake drill. Ah, okay. Or instructions where to go in the case of an earthquake. Okay. But we do not have um, specific instructions or, or um, norms or directions in the case of a fire event. Okay, okay. Yes. I got it. Somebody else? Alguien más. Who else? Tell me. Hello. Hello. Teacher, in Bautista's jobs also has a plan approved by the fire department. Ah, okay. Okay, what else? Más. Hello, I'm waiting. Somebody else? Alguien más? Hello, hello. Okay, you don't want to give your opinion about this. I don't know why, but a lot of people got their cameras off too. My computer is not working, it's not shedding any file. I don't know why too. The only, uh, option that I got to share with you is just the, the same screen. I don't know why. And the whiteboard and maybe it's a, it's a new way. But I don't think it's a, it's a new version because let me show only as a portion of my screen. For example, in this case, I don't know if you can see uh, only in, 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 the, in the green color, I guess that you can see it. I can see your, your screen, sir. Okay, you, you see it now, right? Yeah, still now. Yes. 
but I don't know why. Um, maybe it's a new version of this soon because I, I've been trying to show you my my PPT, but I can. I don't know why. No sé, quizá alguna actualización o algo, pero no me deja este mostrar las las diapositivas. Okay, but uh, here we go in this case. Uh, what about the second question? Have you been uh, informed about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake? Do you got uh, info information about that? No? Yes, sir, I, I got some information about it. Ah, okay. Could you, could you share it in a general way if you want? First of all, uh, in each company are a, a team, uh, un grupo de, de una brigada. Okay. There are a brigada in each company. Every people know what they must be in in case of fire ah, okay for example okay. for example uh, one person must to save the most nearly uh stinger or okay stinger. okay okay uh, if if one people every people uh, have an, an extinctor near of him or her uh, must to take this tinter and try to to combat the fire. But if the fire is uncontrollable, uncontrollable, uncontrollable uh, that that people need to speak louder and room because uh, podemos contener un conato de incendio, pero no un incendio con un extintor. Yes. Conato. And, 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 and the moment you are going to think, I'm going to, to, to fight or flee. I, I don't, I don't understand the, the, the word, sir. Ah, the, the, the last word is flee. <clears throat> that means you flee. are going to try to, to stop it or you are going to run. Yeah, because <laughs> well, yeah, it, actually, one extinctor is to combat a little fire, a little fire. But when the fire is high and are and is consumed an unextended area, the one extinctor can be enough can make nothing i mean uh, the firefighter uh, call to conato de incendio a little fire okay they recommend if we take a conato de incendio near us take the extinctor and fire fight okay. but if Si ya no es un conato, corramos porque es incontrolado. Yes. Yeah, that, that we need, that is what we need to do. Okay. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> okay, in order to continue, let me see the material that I got here. <clears throat> okay, based on the material that we have, we are going to read it. Um, in this case, I would like to divide each paragraph in, let me see, five different group, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. Okay, take a look at this. Um, right here, we got the subtitle. 
we are going to read the following excerpts about a fire escape plan. But I consider that I'm going to divide it in five teams. And the person that I'm going to mention uh, in the order that I'm going to set are going to read only just one paragraph. And then with the help of the classmate, we are going to understand the rest of the paragraph, right? Okay, but let me divide you in teams. And then you are going to have time in order to talk with your classmate in order to help each other. But uh, before that, I'm going to read it in a general way because uh, maybe you had some, some doubt how to read it. I'm going to read it first. And later on, you are going to read it. Every one of you is going to have the chance to read it. And later on, we are going to discuss this uh, paragraph. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen now. Yes. Just let me know. Okay. Okay. Read the following excerpts about a fire escape plan. Practice escaping from every room in, in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plan had two ways to get out of each room. Is the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke. You will need a second way out, like a window onto a adjacent roof. Also practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eye closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route, but if you must escape through smokes, remember to crawl out under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contain toxic gases which can disorient you or at worst overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. Touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door, the door knot and the crap between the door and door frame to make sure the fire is not on the other side. It is feel hot. If it feel hot, use your secondary escape road. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building, for example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or, or from sidewalk to maze. Sure, everyone has gotten out safely and do not, and no one will be heard looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first. Then notice the fire department never go back into a burning building for any reason. In some, if someone is missing, tell the firefighter they are equipped to perform rescue safely. Finally, let me move it a little bit. Having working smoke alarm installed on every level of the building dramatically dramatically increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least uh, one a year. Okay, I'm going to divide you in five teams and every one of you is going to read one paragraph and then we are going to interrupt each other talking about the main ideas of this paragraph. If you don't get the material, make a screenshot now, please, because I'm going to give you time in order to read it. Of course, you are going to have the whole material. Uh, if you got uh, plenty of time, you can continue reading. If you understand your paragraph, you can continue with the second one and so on. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to create the breakout room because, um, let me see, I got 17. Okay, I got it. Okay, Maria Concepcion, Maria Elena, Wendy, and Yesenia, uh, you are going to read parag paragraph one. Uh, Brian, Carlos, Elizabeth, and Laura, 
is the second one. Juan Carlos, Mayra, uh, Jenny. The third one, Carlos Alberto Bautista. Jose Galileo. I don't know why I got only yes, yes, two right here. Okay, in this case, I'm here, like sir. I got only two. Carlos Alberto Bautista and Galileo. You are going to read number four. And Claudia Raquel, uh, Diego Ernesto are going to read number five and also Saira. I don't know if I miss someone. No sé si uh, hay alguien a quien no, no mencioné. O es que se desconectó alguien y luego apareció. I don't know. I don't see, let me see who is missing here. Ah, Misael is not here, I guess. Misael, are you there? Ah, Misael is there, but I don't see in, in which uh, group do you, let me see, Maribel is said, Juan Carlos, Carlos. My goodness, I, I don't see you in any group. Uh, Israel, I don't know why. Okay, let, let, let me. Um, I have some internet problems. I don't know why. I don't see I don't see you in any groups. No sé por qué no lo veo en ningún grupo. Okay, let me recreate again. Veamos ahora. Hey, Carlos, Claudia, Mayra, and I got it, I got it, I got it, I, I got it. Okay, here we go. Try to read your paragraph. Misael, can you hear me? Misael, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. And in room five, they are waiting for you. Yes, I have some internet problems right now. I don't know what's happened. Ah, okay. Yes, because they are waiting for you in the room five. Ah, okay. But I guess Hello. right now it's good. Do you got invi the invitation in order to go there? And no teacher. I'm going to move you to room six. Let me see if we if you get the, the invitation. Okay, right. okay. You got it? No. It's freeze.
Okay, I guess you, you got some ideas about the paragraph that you read. Who wants to start talking about the number one? The number one is to establishing a escape route and and practice every month the plan the plans okay so mario from uh, team one Only one, please, no more than one. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, I'm asking uh, someone from uh, Team One. Uh, Laura and me are Team Four. Team Four. Oh, okay, Team Four. But you said hello, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I know. Okay, I need a volunteer who wants to read paragraph one. Who wants to do it? Only one, please. Sir, if anybody let, wants let, to let, read, let, let me see. I got the names. I got the names of them. Okay. And they know too. Okay, let me see. Elizabeth. Ah, you are part of the number one too, Galileo. No, sir, you said number four, but I I can and I want to learn with Laura. <laughs> okay. My goodness. T teacher practice paragraph uh, four, pero podemos leer el, el uno, Galileo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. May I, may okay. we, sir? Okay, teacher, le, lo, lo, que read the one paragraph. Of, <laughs> practice Skyping from every, every room in the building. Practice Skype plans every month. The best plan have two ways to get off, off each, or off each room in, if the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, or smoke, you will need a second way of light a window onto an adjacent roof. Also practice filling your way out of the building in the dark or with, or with 
your eyes closed. Your eyes closed. Your eyes closed. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, please. Let me check out the attendance first. Déjame revisar primero la asistencia, and then we are going to continue talking about this topic. How we are going to do in order to escape in a fire. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Um, Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo is there. Present, sir. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura. Present, teacher. María. Present, teacher. María Elena. Present. Ahí está, María Elena. Eh, Mayra Veralice. Present. Zaira. Present, teacher. Misael. Present, teacher. Maribel. Present, teacher. Suleima. Present, teacher. Yesenia. Present, teacher. Diego. Present, teacher. And Brian. Present. Okay. Let me try to show you again what I've been watching. Okay, okay, here we go again. Okay, somebody else, uh, who wants to read this, try to pay attention in the way that your classmate read every paragraph. Okay, and I, I need a volunteer who wants to read the first paragraph. Hey, yeah, sir. Okay, go ahead, sir, do it. <laughs> Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. closed. Okay, On, only the word, uh, this one, primary. Yes. Primary, primary, primary. Primary, primary. Is the primary way is law. Okay, what, what, what can Thank you tell you. us about this paragraph, sir, in your own words? What can you got? For the first paragraph, we need to we need to know and planify plan B, plan A, and plan B. Plan B, plan A, plan B. If okay. we have one way to run out to the building, but this way is stopped by the fire. We need to know and have in the in the mind uh, we can re take reaction in other way without uh, lose uh, one second. Okay. We need to reaction in the fact. Ah, okay, 
Uh, what, what about uh, in the first line? Let me see here. Let me see. Okay, right here. Um, practice escape plans every month. Do you consider that it is possible to do this in our country every month? No, in our country, it, it, uh, actually the law say we need to get practice at least every six months. Every six months, twice, twice a year, right? Yeah, okay. but every month uh, I think is impossible. The company have not that conscious. Oh, okay. And what about the last part? Uh, also practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eye closed. Do you consider that uh, you are able to get out of your house with your eye closed? Talking first about your house. And later on, uh, we are going to talk about your, in your job. I think that means we need to know or recognize, recognize uh, every mirror of our job, or place, or, or building. Okay. Uh, in case, in case we can't see the way, we need to reconnoitre that place in our mind. In order by, to by recognize, heart. it is like uh, to have a map in our brain, right? Yeah, yeah. Recognize yeah. in in our yeah. brain. That's right. Uh, we need to create our own road. Yeah, that is the reason why we need to practice frequently because ah. we ah. we need to be conditioned. Ah, okay. Yeah, to take a reaction uh, in the facts uh, immediately. Okay, immediately. Okay, thank you, sir, for your participation. Okay, somebody else wants to say something about the first paragraph? Now is the time that you can express what you are thinking about it. No? Okay, what about the second one? Who wants to read it? Number two. With it. Okay, Maria Elena. Immediately leave the flight. When Immediately I leave. Leave the flight. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving wood. Take the safe exit route. But if you must escape rope through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contain, contains toxic gases which can disorient you or at worst overcome you. Okay. Um, somebody wants to tell me something about this. What about the, this expression, remember to crawl low? What is that? In Spanish, what is that? What is the meaning of that expression? No, sería como ir gateando, ir abajo. Yeah, yes, it is. Okay. Okay, well, what, what comes to your mind when you see, when, when you read it, the, the subtitle immediately leave the place? What, what you need to do? If you see a fire in your workplace, what you are going to do?
Hello, 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 hello. I need that you talk, that you participate talking about this. That means that immediately that you see the, that the fire uh, is there, what you need to do is just to, uh, to go, try to go out, right? Because you are not going to have any time to, to say good or that you are going to say, okay, I'm going to leave, but before I need to take this, this, and this. Yeah. We need to think in our life at the moment that something happened. And we need to flee. We need to run in order to save our life. And also, uh, we need to remember that the smoke contains toxic gases with can disorient uh, us. And we can lose the control. We, we can uh, suddenly, we can get confused. Uh, with the direction and maybe uh, in order to go out we can get into uh, different rooms you know we need to be careful about that okay what about that third one who wants to read it never open doors that are hot to the touch who wants to read it can you read it Hola. Mi teacher. Okay. It says, never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door. The door knob and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary escape rope. Okay. That means what? Somebody wants to tell me something about like this. In your I, own words, somebody else wants to tell me something about it. I think, Peter, um, I have never thought about these tactics or a strategy before. Oh, okay. um, maybe because I work in only one first floor building, but in another case, for example, in a third or a fifth floor building, and if a fire occurs, that will be really a serious event. And with this technique, using the back of the hand, my Touching the door maybe could save their lives or all lives. Yes, so it is. To me, it's a really interesting strategy. I have never uh, think about thought about this. Okay, something new for you, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. The ones that, that of, of says course. about cold door. <laughs> yeah, that usually happen uh, when we are in a place like uh, that. We have different doors and suddenly uh, the fire start or that somebody, uh, or even the, uh, the, the smoke alarm start sound and you need to be careful in order to go to the next room. And one technique is that, in the way that we are going to, to, to touch the door in order to be sure if there is fire or not. Mm. Maybe we can use a piece of cloth to touch the, the door, maybe. <laughs> that comes to my mind right now. Yeah, but imagine that at that moment, uh, we don't have the time to think uh, and, and, and look for something like that. What you need to do is just to survive at the moment. And even sometimes maybe you can get an action and, and, and try to open the door or, or, or something that maybe you got a chair and that way you are going to Break down the door, not to to go for in to the get out of, there. In the case of men, we can use our tie, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but imagine, imagine that the door is uh, made of uh, a metal, steel. How we are going to do that? 
it's really difficult. But we need to take into account all these aspects. Okay, what about uh, the next one? Who wants to read it? I know you look tired today. Lo veo cansados ya. Solo nos falta dos días o un día y medio. Teacher. Hello, sir. I can read the four paragraphs. Okay, do it, sir. Uh, designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Okay. Designate a meeting location away from the building, for example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten up safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Ah, okay. Okay. Is it really important to have a, a, a specific point where we can find each other, right? Yes. Uh, that is the, called in Spanish, los puntos de encuentro. Yes, in the, in the workplace, there are a lot of uh, uh, labels to meeting a people uh, from away to to the building. Ah, okay. Okay, what else? Somebody else want to say something about this? What about the last paragraph? Who wants to read it? When you have working smoke alarm system on every level of the room, you to find a place to. Okay, can you hide the volume? Hide the volume, please. Okay. Need to test the area. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Who's going to read it? Quien lo va a leer? Hello. Only one, please. Only one. No volunteer to read it. Ningún voluntario para leer el párrafo último. The, the final teacher. Yes. No, 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 no. Once out. Once out. Once out. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the the fire department never sorry never go back into a burning building for any reason if someone is missing tell the firefighters they are equipment equipped 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 to perform request safely rescue safely okay Continue. rescue safely finally having working smoke alarms installed installed on every level of the building dramatic dra, dramatic sorry dramatical Increase increases your chance or survive 
survival, survival, a smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and change with new ones at least once a year. Okay, thank you. Once out to say, I uh, remember to stay first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the fire fire. They are equipped to perform rescue safely. Finally, having work a small alarm installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances of survival. Small alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least once a year. Okay. Now, what you are going to do is this. I'm going to stop sharing. Let me see, only, I got only L16. Something is happening, I don't know why. Maybe most, some of you are having problem with the internet service. Maybe because of the war that Russia and Ukraine ha is ha they are having, they are affecting us. <laughs> yeah, at this moment, maybe, you know, something can happen. Okay, what we are going to do next is this. Okay, I'm going to create a breakout room again. And you are going to try to read it with your uh, classmate because I needed that. The main purpose is that you read this uh, article. Um, voy a crear algún, unos breakout room para que puedan leer porque siento de que si algunos no quieren leer es porque, no sé, me daría la idea de pensar que tal vez es porque hay algunos problemas en and how to pronounce some words. Pero uh, I need that you tell me. Yo necesito saberlo para poderles ayudar. Entonces, para evitar, eh, eh, porque algunos no lo quieren hacer acá, vamos a crear un breakout room and you are going to try to read it. Um, the whole article. Van a tratar de leer todo el artículo. And you are going to help each other. Se van a ayudar unos a otros. Suddenly, I'm going to appear in your breakout room to give you a hand. But first of all, I'd like to know if you have a, a question related with the, with the article. Pero no sé, hoy los he visto así como más callados, cansados. I don't know why. Yo creí que iban a estar happy porque ya estamos... Uh, a la puerta de terminar el módulo. Eh, but, bueno, como dijo alguien por ahí, como es lunes y no sé qué fue el dicho que dijo, but mention some hands didn't hatch. Algo así dijo, yo no sé, pero uh, I, I would like to, to, to know what is happening. You can tell me, you can share with me what's going on. Hello. 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 Se escucha, se escucha. Ah, se, se oye, se oye. Entonces, entonces no es que no me están oyendo. Entonces algo más está pasando. And I want to discover what is happening, but I, I can find out what is happening. It died in. Ah, you are tired, a little tired? Yeah, it's tomorrow my day off. Ah, tomorrow is your day off? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's good to know. And tomorrow we are going to finish the, the module. Okay. Um. Let me see the time that we have now.
Okay, uh, first of all, what we are going to do is just to discuss the question that we have. We have some question uh, in the material. We got some question in the material and you are going to discuss it. Uh, let me see, we, we have five different uh, statements under light of this recommendation in this group. Or what to do in the event of a fire? Two of them are not right. Okay, you are going to read it. And at the same time, you are going to resolve. Let me do this first. You are going to do it in, in group. It's gonna be better. Okay, let me create this and try to, to answer this uh, statement. So I'm going to give you five minutes in order that you can do it. No, I'm going to give you more than five. It's gonna be six minutes. Okay, here we go. Try to talk about that. Recording in progress. Recordings.
Teacher, not enough time. We didn't finish. <laughs> we missed one. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to give you more time. If you want to continue talking them, no problem. Voy a compartir de nuevo. Era donde íbamos. En el último, en, no, en, después del design. Tenemos problemas técnicos, teacher. Se nos cortó la, la transmisión. Después de Juan. Vaya, one íbamos. En, having worked smoking. Uh, uh, increase your chance of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and change with new ones at least once a year. Wendy? Comienzo yo. Carlos? Practice. Es el día el último, ¿verdad? El último párrafo. El último yo lo leí. No, el one, primer sería. Stay out. Stay out. Eh, empecemos desde el primero. Escaping from every room in the building. In the building. Okay. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent sand roof. Also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark of the, or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safety, safe exit road. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains gas, uh, toxic gases, 
which can disorient uh, you or at worst you overcome you. Never open doors. Can you know? I read the next. Okay. Teacher is on mute. Goodness. Hello, do you listen to me? Sí, Carlos. Okay. Never, never open doors that are hot to, to, to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the bank of your hand to feel the touch. Now ready, teacher. Go. Microphone is mute. I don't know, aliens are coming maybe because we are facing problem with the platform. And suddenly uh, I, I was in, in a group that they were reading and they lost the, the connection too. I don't know what is, what's going on. Maybe the cocoa. Ah, oui, the cocoa, what is that? What is that cocoa? Like a ghost. <laughs> oh, like a ghost. <laughs> uh, kids, uh, sometimes uh, kids know about something like that, you know? Ah, okay, cocoa, cocoa. <laughs> I have heard that. Okay, uh, let us know what happened in the first uh, sentence that we have there. What can you tell us about it? Who wants to read the number one? Me, teacher, Saira. Okay, but first of all, let, let, let me, let me um, before you tell me the, the right way uh, that we need to select, uh, I would like to know, I would like to hear a general idea about this uh, article. That somebody, I need that somebody make a, a, brief, a, a brief summary about what can you tell me about in your own words? But if you want, we can we can resolve this exercise later and we can do that. Okay, tell me. Number one. Hello? Teacher, uh, perdí el párrafo. You lost the paragraph. You see? It's cocos po. ¿Es la culpa de quién? De coco. You are saying that. Can you read, teacher? Carlos Alberto. Can I read the, the one part? Okay, okay, let us see what um, what you are going to do. It is just to read the para paragraph one or you are going to resolve the sentence one because uh, maybe because of the time we are going to just work in exercise number three when, where we are going to underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire. 
two of them are not right. Okay, read the number one, please. Okay, practice escaping from every room in the building. Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I need that you read is uh, sentence one, exercise number three. Sentence one. Exercise number three. When you come to a closed door. No, 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 let me show you here. Number one down. When fire occurs. Oh, okay, okay, Anderson. When fire occurs, get all the things of value leave the place try to put out the fire you got it there you got it there now i can do it until now i can show you my slice my goodness okay the number one said when fire occur get all the thing of value or leave the place or try to put out the fire which one is the right one for you Leave, leave the place. Leave the place. Yes. Leave the place, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. Number two, a volunteer who wants to read it. Okay, when you come to a closed door, grab the handle and open it, or look for another door, or carefully seal the doorknob and the cross of door for help. Which one is the right one for you? The last one, carefully fill the door up and the cracks of the door for hot. Okay, are you agree, my friends? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Number three, please. Number three. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Designate a meeting place as near the building as possible, away from the building at home. I think I think that away from the building. Away from the building. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the what do you think? Um let me see. Escobar, what about what, what do you think about this one? Excuse me, what number? <laughs> I got you out of the out of the soccer field. <laughs> number three, I guess. Yes, yes, teacher. Excuse me. No, no problem. Number three. Yes. No. Which number one is three. this? Which one is the right one? It, it is a, a middle place okay. away from the building. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Number four. Me, teacher, Diego. Okay, okay, number four. Before trying to escape, escape first without hesitation. ¿Cómo se lee eso, teacher? Hesitation. Excitation. With the hesitation. Okay, hesitate, hesitation. Hesitate is the verb. Okay. Hesitation. Uh, notify the fire department first. Call your family and tell them not to worry. For me, is escape first without excitation. That is the, the, the right one for you, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, that means that you are going to be sure what you are going to do. You don't need to hesitate. You need to be sure. Okay, in the last one, number four, please. Number four. Number five. Uh, number five, excuse me. <laughs> yes, number five. Fire alarm. Set them every year. Install them on the top and ground level 
change them every five years. Uh, I am seeing so is the number one, install them on the top and ground level. Ah, okay. Are you agree or disagree? Somebody else? Um, really? Yes. Somebody else? Somebody else? Juan Carlos, what, what do you think about it? I agree, teacher. Mayra, what about you? The same opinion, teacher. The same opinion? Which one? Tell me. Uh, install them on the top and ground levels. Uh -huh, okay. Let me ask somebody else. I think, teacher, test them every year. Ah, okay. We need to be sure that this kind of equipment are going to work at the moment that uh, there is going to be a fire. For the reason we need to test it every year. Okay. But in the book says every month. Yes, in, every in, year. In, in the book says every month, score I know. Then, That's why. Yeah, let, we... let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me show you, Claudia. I know what you are saying. I know what you are saying, Claudia. But right here at, at the beginning, uh, let me show you this. I know where you read. Until now, I can share my. Okay, right here. Right here, said practice escape plans every month. Okay, but practice, but what about what you are telling me? Could you tell me the paragraph where you found it? The last one. The last one? Yes. And actually, it's talking about smoke alarm batteries. Yes. Right here, it's talking, finally having working smoke alarm installed and on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances survival as small color batteries need to be tested every month and chain with new ones at least once a year. Okay, now see what we got here. We are talking about fire, fire alarms. But it related, you know? Because we, if we talk about smoke alarm, it had to do with fire too. At the moment that, uh, that a smoke appear, it is cause there is a fire, yeah? Okay, yes, that is the way that we need to, okay, 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 okay. Um, in order to continue, I need that you tell me um, I need that you talk if you um, in your job uh, you have a, a plan in order to escape escape plan of um, of something you know fire or for different kind of situation that we can face. I already uh, heard that some of you maybe never saw in something like this, but now that I got the chance, I would like to share. And this material, uh, I'm going to share it with you. And maybe maybe uh, I'm going to do it now because later on I forgot to do it. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to do it in a hurry because of the time.
And then you are going to have uh, some ideas of what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the introduction. You can see different kinds of pictures. And uh, right here, you can find a different object that we uh, can have in uh, emergency action plans. This is the way how we can uh, build up something like this. And uh, let me see, emergency action plan benefits of an EAP. Do you know what is the meaning, right? Emergency, emergency action plans. Okay, we need to have a written document that facilitates and organize employee, an employee action during the workplace. Emergencies, fewer and less severe injury, less structural damage, reduce confusion. And the most important thing maybe that we need to know is that in an emergency action plan, we need to have some purpose, you know, describe option to be taken to ensure employee safety during an emergency. Use floor plans map to show emergency escape routes. Uh, tell employees what option to take, cover reasonable expected emergencies. We need to take into account all these aspects. Uh, and also, an emergency option plan require elements like means of reporting, evacuation pr procedure, and emergency escape routes, uh, routes and procedures to critical operation, accounting of employees, Rescue and medical duties, contact persons. And also we need to say, uh, have some signs like this evacuation area, you know? It's, it is mandatory that we have something like, 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 like that. And also we need to have a training employees of the EAP. We need to make a review plan with each employee, initial development of the plan initial assignment of employee to job, change to plan or employee option responsibilities, animal training with drills to practice evacuation and gathering in an assembly area, and so on. Right here, I got all the part or component that we need to have in, in, in one plan of this kind. And I'm going to share it with you. Maybe you can use it later. And it is a lot of information. But in order to finish today, we are going to have five minutes in order to talk about, uh, according to the article that we uh, read, do you consider that we need to make some changes? What else you can add in order to be that, that the plan could be perfect? maybe something that is missing there and that you consider that is really important. Just tell me, based on your experience that you have, maybe some of you belong to the Red Cross and know and got experience of these kind of situations. We never know, but may maybe some of you could uh, have some experience about this situation or you belong to the committees in, in your job uh, that have to be with these issues, you know? Hello, see? Before to start my class, uh, I heard that an earthquake happened in Russia, you know? What do you know about that? Do you hear it? No? No? Ah, okay. Suddenly I, I, I was watching the news and and suddenly I saw that, that something happened there. Maybe it's not something uh, bigger like uh, to get seven or, or eight uh, level, but uh, you know, Right now, it's happening something uh, really difficult there. 
and people need to know what uh, to do. Sir. Hello, sir. About Ukraine. Yes. No, no, in Russia. Russia. Yeah, in Russia. Uh, according to the news. Yes. Uh, Putin said there are in, in Ukraine, there are uh, neo Nazi groups. Ah, they they are the uh, the um, ejército or the army of the Ukraine. Okay. Putin Putin said neo Nazis are drug addicts and and y delincuentes, and they are the army. So uh, Putin said need to set free to the people of Ukraine. Ah, if okay. if that is truth, I um I think Putin is is the right way yeah. to to clear that uh draw it. But and, 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 if, and, the, and the question should be this related with our topic. Do you consider that uh, they are prepared in order to survive in a situation like that. Maybe uh, let us think that they have some ideas how to escape from that situation. What do you think about that? Talking about uh, the topic that we are uh, starting now, that we are talking about how to escape from a fire situation. What do you see uh, in news and what can you tell us about, about, about this issue? Do you consider that they are prepared or not? No, yeah. they are not. Yes, of course. No. It is something that uh, maybe they never expected to happen, you know? Okay, uh, before we go, I would like to share this info that I have here in order that you can read it and maybe something can help you in your job. Okay. But let me share the, uh, let me check out the, the attendance. Now I got only a 15 student, I don't know why. No sé por qué al final, creí que al final las últimas sesiones se iban a conectar todos. Pero veo que solo quedan, hay, hay 15. Sé que han tenido eh, algunos problemas de conexión. Eh, a Misael tuve que cambiarlo de, de grupo, pero eh, al final como que había un impasse de, 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 de la conexión y no lo dejaba entrar. Lo mismo pasó con, con eh, me uní a un grupo que estaba leyendo y de repente se les cortó. Entonces creo que quizás es a nivel nacional lo que está sucediendo. Sí, ah. el viento. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Could be. Could be, could be. Bueno, pensemos que fue el viento. Lo que el viento se llevó. Okay. In my office, we train, but when you face to face a real agent, it's difficult. It's not same. Yes, it is. Really, really difficult, you know. Okay, let me see the attendance now. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz no se conectó hoy. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian. Not here. Bautista. Just here, present. Okay, Escobar. Present. 
Eh, Claudia. Present. Eh, Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Eh, José Jonathan. 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 Juan Carlos Rivas. Presente, chef. Ok. Rodrigo. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Okay. Only Juan Carlos, let me see. Oh, Rodrigo, es que no vi, y a Jonathan. ¿Alguien vio a Jonathan por ahí? No. No, no, no. no. Estoy <laughs> Juan Carlos is there, of course, is there. Okay. Let me see if only 15 of you are here. Vea cómo es la vida. Ahorita eh, estoy mirando como que si fuese la universidad que comenzaron 80 y terminaron 40. Sí. Uh, different situation, you know, the university is, is, is kind of weird in that aspect. But right here, we, we try to give you the opportunity to all of you in order that you can speak, that you can participate. But suddenly, some of you, uh, maybe you don't want to do it for different reasons. But remember that if you practice, you are going to develop your skills. Yes? Okay. Yes. Tomorrow, what we are going to do is a review about unit four. Maybe we are going to resolve some exercises. And at the moment that the coordinator tell us, we are going to fill out the information that they ask you to fill, okay? And be, okay. And be honest and be objective and and answer all those questions uh, according to your perspective, you know? Because that is a really help, helpful for, for them and even for me. Because at the end, uh, they tell us, okay, the result is this. And that is the result. Okay, maybe I, I, I'm not pretty sure about the, the next module, uh, what it's going to be about. Remember that every module, uh, the topic are uh, totally different. In this one, we, we have been talking about marketing and, and not only just about that, but also talking about different aspects that we can put in practice in our companies. That is the main purpose, yeah. Okay, yeah. I hope to see you to all of you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the last day that we are going to be here. And we are not pretty sure if we are going to uh, find out in the, in the next module. We never know what can happen, you know, but uh, I wish you the best and uh, in order that you can reach your goals. Because if you don't if you don't work hard in your walls, you are not going to reach it. I know that it's pretty hard to be here at this time, and suddenly uh, maybe uh, your wife or or maybe your husband is telling you, okay, 
hurry up because I I I I I, I bought uh, something to eat. Y algunas veces yo sé de que algunos eh, han esperado que la clase termine para poderse comer lo que les tienen preparado, porque eh, he visto eh, cómo algunos han llegado desde su trabajo rápido y, y han estado ahí, y eso es muy importante. ¿sí? Importante porque eh, reconocen que cada esfuerzo al final tiene su recompensa y que el crecimiento es sumamente personal. Así es que por eso yo los admiro mucho a todos ustedes, porque a pesar de todas las adversidades que pasamos en nuestro trabajo, pues están ahí presentes. Y que algunas veces, ah, así con dificultades, muy cansados, pero ahí han estado. Así es que yo les felicito y les invito a que sigan adelante y que puedan encontrar esos objetivos. El tiempo pasa y nosotros, si nos dejamos, pues, al final, los que comenzaron con nosotros los vamos a ver muy lejos y nosotros en el mismo lugar. Así es que felicitarles a, en español para que nadie diga, no, entendí qué fue lo que dijo al final. Aunque no hemos terminado todavía, pero sí quería decirles eso, de que, de que los admiro porque eh, yo sé que no es fácil. Eh, no todos tienen el mismo trabajo, por supuesto. Para algunos es más difícil, para otros eh, tal vez no, pero eh, el esfuerzo que han, han hecho es, es, es muy importante. Posiblemente en el módulo eh, hayan encontrado un montón de palabras eh, muy complejas, tal vez para algunos, fáciles para otros, pero esto así es. Los retos así van y una de las maneras para crecer es precisamente eh, enfrentando esos retos y no darse por vencido. ¿Verdad? Así es que por difícil que sea la tarea hay que entrarle y a terminarla. Así que ya no les quito más tiempo. Eh, yo sé que ya... You're right, sir. You're right. Thank you. I know that you are tired maybe, but only one day more and then you are going to be free. You are going to have a, a vacation and you are going to do a lot of things that maybe... Uh, You, I, you've been waiting to do it. Pero ya las van a hacer, ya van a tener tiempo. Así es que díganle ahí a su familia, paciencia que un día más y luego nos vamos de vacation. Así es la vida. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, remember, it's, it's going to be the last day. I'm going to send you the, the slices that I have. Le voy a enviar las diapositivas que tengo por ahí. Eh, tal vez a alguien le puedan servir. Eh, una información, una información bastante buena referente a lo que vimos el día de hoy y de repente puede ser que alguien quiera implementar un plan en su empresa eh, está en inglés lógico porque es lo que hemos venido mirando pero de ahí pueden tomar algunas ideas muy importantes ok, good night and I hope to see you tomorrow that is going to be the last day and bye bye good night okay, good night, you, It's a good night everybody y no se les olvide, Bye. mañana Bye. se toman su tiempo para resolver la encuesta. No vamos a ir corriendo. ¿Sí? Okay, so. okay. Thank you. Okay, okay bye -bye. teacher. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. María Elena, bye-bye, María Elena. Bye-bye, teacher. See you, see you. It's a pleasure. Okay, Bye. the same to you.